Lugo facing Danny Baez. Tampa Bay down one, Lugo. That's deep and it's gone. Three hits, three RBIs, a second career multi-home run game for Lugo. Baez, his eighth blown save and 33 chances. Tie game, Indians down one in the 11th. Casey Blake against Lance Carter. That's far enough, isn't it? That'll score Jody Garrett to tie up the game at four. Now, after the inning, Lou Pinella gives his catcher, Toby Hall, a piece of his mind. At least I think that's what he's doing. Top of the 13th, Terry Mulholland facing Carl Crawford. Bags full, said Crawford. I wanted that one bad. Yep, the D-Rays. You know, they're 13 and seven since the 29th of July. Bottom one, two out, Larkin getting Frank Thomas to do that. Washburn trying to win just his 10th game of the year. Inning over. Bottom second, no score, two out. Carl Everett. But Sean Figgins is there with a super catch. That's a Sports Center Top 10 nominee. Take another look just in case you looked away for another bite of Fruity Pebbles. Flat out to Rob Everett. Inning over. Bottom three, White Sox down one nothing. Paul Canerco hitless in this game. With a little help from Garrett Anderson, who makes the over-the-shoulder catch. He makes it look so smooth. Two batters later, Washburn facing Sandy Alomar Jr. Good contact, but right to who else? Figgins, perfect placement. Washburn, perfect through three. Bottom four, two out. Still one nothing. Frank Thomas looking to change that, but Scott Spezio has other ideas. Washburn, perfect through four. Bottom five, two out. Washburn never pitched a perfect game, and he never, well, he won't on this night. He had Carl Everett, but the no-hitter's still intact. Next batter, Washburn. Strikes out Paul Canerco, hitting over. Still a no-no for Jared. Bottom six, two out, still one nothing. Washburn getting Tony Graffanino to ground out. Washburn, a no-hitter through six. The Angels have had seven no-hitters in franchise history, four by Nolan Ryan. Top of the seventh, one out, runner at third, Alfredo Amazaga. Lays down the bunt beautifully. Adam Riggs scores. Amazaga out at first, but take another look. John, did you see how high he gets up in the zone? I need to see that again. Bunt? Well, I showed it to you. Bottom seven, Washburn still has the no-hitter. Roberto Alomar isn't big on uh, Washburn getting this no-hitter. Seeing eye single, no no-hitter. Six innings of no-hit ball, though, for Washburn. Next batter. Can Washburn still have his composure here? Frank Thomas says no with his 29th homer. So Washburn is disgusted. Why? Because he was winning, he had the no-hitter, and now the game is tied. Thanks to the big hit. Yuck. Bottom nine, game tied still. Washburn still in there, battling back spasms throughout the game. Tony Graffanino looks to keep it going for the White Sox. To double, man on. Two batters later, it's Thomas again. And yes, Washburn is still in there to face the big hurt. Will he be hurt? There it goes. Shot to left. Gone. Frank Thomas with a game-winning home run. You got to stay aggressive in that situation. Uh, I'm just fortunate I got it done. Uh, I've been really struggling over the last week. I was hearing a little rumblings and grumblings here in Chicago. They were ready to get back on me again. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I just got to keep going because this team has a very special chance this year, and we just got to stay at it. Two homers for Thomas, four RBI. Second homer was a top ten nominee, and the White Sox stop their five-game skid. Team on Tuesday, the Giants look to avoid being swept on Monday in Montreal. Top of the third scoreless game. Javier Vasquez on the mound for Montreal. So good. Ask Dustin Hermanson about that. And then Vasquez striking out Cody Ransom. He struck out seven in this game. Bottom five, Jamie Carroll. It's a chopper. Pedro Feliz. Feliz stays with it because it was an awful bounce. Head first dive to get Carroll at first. Yeah, it's a top ten nominee. Sure. Jose Vidro up the middle. Andy Chavez comes in to score. Montreal on the board. One nothing. Still in the six, Mr. Cycle, Brad Wilkerson. Looking for contact, gets it, but it's in foul ground. Now, we have put an arrow on a fan. Why? Because he reaches over to make the catch. The umpire at first, Jim Wolf, calls Wilkerson out on fan interference. It's a good call. It's a good catch. Yeah, top of the seven, but he's not allowed to do that. Get out of the, get out of the ballpark. You're out. Benito Santiago now pops one up, same area. And with that fan gone, as he should have been, Will Cordero can make this catch. Next batter, back to Vasquez, who continue to be stunning, striking out Jeffrey Hammonds. 4 nothing Expos in the ninth, and then he freezes Santiago. Game over. His manager, Frank Robinson, very impressed with his pitcher's performance. Outstanding performance from him. You know, he went out there and did the job. 
kept them off the bases until we could uh, finally break through. And he just did an outstanding job with very few pitches today, and he was in complete control. Complete game three hitter for Vasquez, and would you believe the Expos went 7-0 and against the Giants this year? So with the Giants losing, the D-backs can inch within seven and a half of the G-men. More concerned with Mike Hampton today, and Alex Centron laying down the bunt, but Mike Hampton squarely off the hill. Gets him at first. Top of the second, Hampton. Oh, this is gold glove type play. The only thing is his teammate Greg Maddox has won the last 13. He's not done in the third. Gets Craig Council this time. Three web gems. Bottom of the third, Robert Fick. That's a rope to right. Just inside the line with two ducks on the pond. Fick, two for four. Marcus Giles, Chipper Jones. Come on now. Braves up 4 0. Top of the fourth. Crank up the Barry White because Mark DeRosa feels like making gloves. Oh, you bet you that's a top 10 nominee. Gets the double up at second. And we're moving to the bottom of the fifth. 4 1. It was Roberta Flack. Oh, see, now you're just getting it all messed up on me now. Sorry. Gary Sheffield. Oh, hitting it over the wall into the paper. That's his 31st of the year. Has a 22 game hitting streak. 5 1 now, bottom of the seventh. Marcus Giles bench pressing baseballs. 17th of the season. 6-1, Braves, Mike Hampton, looking for his eighth win, his last nine starts, Clayton McCracken, by you, later that same inning, Alex Centron. Oh, shut your pie hole. Hampton, four Ks in eight innings, the lefty has won eight straight decisions. Box, Jose Reyes on first, Piazza off a chin, we sow. A two-run homer, Piazza's ninth, the Mets have not lost since Piazza returned from that groin injury. Steve Traxel, he enters the sixth, perfect. Tony Womack at bat, the bunt, Traxel, wow, slides to it, the throw to first for the out, that was sweet. Next batter is your pitcher, Sow, hitless in his career, 0 for 8, and that's a fly ball, and where is Timo Perez, not deep enough. South's first major league hit breaks up Traxel's perfect game. Now, don't forget about Cliff Floyd. At bat in the sixth, Floyd, last game before his season-ending Achilles tendon surgery. That'll score Reyes. In the ninth, Floyd given a send-off by Met fans. The Mets want to wish outfielder Cliff Floyd success on his upcoming surgery. Floyd playing in pain all season long with numerous injuries, stuck it out for a while. Greg Norton at bat, one out in the ninth, on the ground, Phillips. Uh-oh, the throw to Traxel. Uh, Traxel can't handle it. The play was originally ruled a hit, but that would change because it was an error on Phillips. If you look closely, it was a bad throw. As for Traxel, he finished with his third career one-hitter. Said Traxel, it wasn't like I was fooling him. They hit a lot of atom balls. If the Tigers win their last 40 games, they could finish 20 games under 500. Mike Marat, the scheduled starter on Monday, well, came in with 17 losses. He was pushed back. He will start on Tuesday. His replacement, Nate Robertson, has 17 less losses, but Nate Robertson doesn't have a single win either. Top of the second, Robertson, lefty, Coy. It's Mark to share swinging. Top of the seventh now, 2-1 Texas. Same duo, Robertson, Teixeira, Teixeira, shut your pie hole. Robertson went eight in the third, had eight Ks. Top of the ninth, Danny Patterson now pitching, Teixeira swing. It doesn't matter who's throwing the ball. Teixeira's fourth K of the night. Bottom nine, it's 2-1, Tejas one out, Francisco Cordero throwing, Shane Halter hitting the ball really far. And this is a sports center top 10 nominee. Game time solo shot. Let's play extras. Top of the 14th, still tied. Two outs, Jamie Walker throwing baseballs to share it. A night only a mother can love. Five Ks. Top of the 16th, one duck on the pond for A-Rod. If that's over the wall, it's a home run. A two-run shot. That two, a Sports Center top 10 nominee, is 34th of the year, puts the Rangers up 4-2. Bottom 16. Tuesday scheduled starter, R.A. Dickey coming in to mop up. And Carlos Pena uh, lining out. The Rangers win. 4-2. Bucks boys playing some ball. They've reeled off six straight wins. Towing the rubber against the Royals. Hoping for better luck than last Wednesday when he went. Well, he didn't pitch too well. Gave up nine and runs at 13 hits. Said everything that can go wrong is going wrong. If I fall behind, they hit it. If I make a good pitch, they hit it. It's tough to comprehend because I've made those pitches before and they've worked. Would have worked in the top of the second? No. Oh, you've got me straight tripping, boo. Carlos Beltran, his 21st of the year. Part of a three for four day. KC up one squat. Bottom third, Hideki Matsui. That's a base knock to right. He's doubling in the corner, going to bring in one. Bernie Williams greedy. Puffing it around third, coming into the plate. He slides, but did he touch the plate? 
He's pumped out at the plate. Let's look at this again. Bernie comes in, stops short. And Brent May puts the tag on. Top of the fourth. Is there a comeback? Two ducks on the pond and roll. And Bond, yes! Yo, wide right. Nearly a three-run shot. Sam at bat. This time he's going down the left field line. And there's an all-star right there, Derek Jeter. But that's not an all-star play. He doesn't get the squeeze, but that is heady baseball right there because he gets the fourth and third. Look at it again. No squeeze, heady play, goes to third. For that, you get a top 10 nominee. Very next batter, Joe Randa. Very first pitch. Oh, that's a grounder over Fonzie. That's a 4 6 3, adds up to 13, but it's worth two outs. Not Lima time Monday. Jose Lima suffers his first loss of the season.